Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I'm playing the final blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before we start off with the game I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start off with the game and see how it goes. Got the black pieces. I'll play the Karo Khan defense, which starts with c6, for by d5. Um, Bishop, Fian Kedo, so, and he blocks it. And that's the worst he could do. And they love the bishop on f5. You develop the bishop on b2, and then you're trying to close the same diagonal. Don't understand that in the first place, though. But yeah, let's see if we can work it out. I play pawn to e6, trying to just have a good development. Again, uh, this complete uh, row is blocked, diagonal is blocked. Only he can develop his bishop here and here. Um, so we can proceed with that development. Knight to f6. Yes, he's trying to exchange, and which means we are not. Bringing it back so that if he does take, opens up the file for the attack. I'll get my bishop active on d6, eyeing this long diagonal. Um, I can take this, I don't mind. Probably it takes with the pawn. Yep. Which makes me wonder why can't I play this? Because I get to take his bishop. Meanwhile, he gets to take mine. Uh, or I can place it here. Just a second, if I take his bishop first, then... Let's say I go here. Let him take, let him proceed this pawn. Tempt him to proceed. Then I can probably take his pawn first. He gets to take my bishop and then I take his. He saves this time. I'll just try and attack with the bishop, trying to exchange it. If pawn forward, of course, we have a place to go. A5, still trying to defend the bishop. Okay. He's already moved his queen once. If he just goes somewhere else, uh, that causes a lot of trouble. I'll go here, trying to double up. Let's see what he has got in mind. He does take. I'll take as well. What if I take this pawn? Do I win an extra pawn? Because he takes my queen, I take his, and my bishop is also safe. I don't mind that trade. Let's get an extra pawn. Who doesn't like extra pawns? Confused. The only weakness in my structures of now is this b7 and I need to get developing my knight very quick. Oh, he does take, but he takes the bishop. That's bad news, I would say. Because I'll take. Okay, where are we going with the queen? This is the only place, I think. Or just completely black, which is bad. I'll go here and then to e7 because rook is coming up for sure. Okay, the other one, but yes, it's coming. You might try to double up now. But then I have to, uh, b5 as well, but then a4 comes. Okay, I'll just try to hang on to this for now, maybe. Or let him give that free pawn that he took. Um, Pawn forward. Pawn forward works actually. I don't see any drawbacks with that. Now he has got two attackers to it. I got one defender. So let's get the other defender as well. Which also means that if he moves the knight, we are coming in here. The, the mighty check. Okay, we need to exchange the knights for sure. I'll go here. If he does take, I'm going in with the check first and then taking with this knight. So I get another pawn as well. 
Let's see what he does. But this is getting a bit riskier. I need to take this. I think a good move from my opponent would be f4 because after that he can take with the pawn if I exchange. And then he can plant his pawns stronger in the center. Though yeah, it's a double pawn, but it's not a weakness. But rather closes my queen's diagonal for permanent unless I try to break it open, but then we weakens up the e pawn. Oh, that's a nice move, I must say. But what if I take? Then he has to take and I get to have his queen as well. So I think I win. Extra piece. Unless he tries to take with the queen and takes the pawn now. Yep, that's what he does. He understood after playing the move, which is bad. I can come here. I am still saving my knight twice with the knight and the queen. Now I think it's a very good time to castle as soon as possible. Of course, the king was also guarding the knight. But that's kind of a pin which I want to remove ASAP because I think he's just trying to line up his rooks. Yep. Trying to kick this away, maybe. Let's castle. Okay, lines up, but I'll take on the knight first. I have a move where I can save my queen, no worries with that. How about exchanging queens? I don't think anything is better than that for now. Try to exchange from here. Uh, what can he do? He probably, I don't think he can. He has a good move defending this. Once we exchange, we am knight up and I can just go here. So no problems with that. If he doesn't exchange, I can take this pawn. I wish I wouldn't have to castle, otherwise this was a very nice threat forever. Okay, I can just get my knight going. Trying to go here as well, blocking the rooks. Yep, that was the plan and I managed to do it. Now my knight is going to stay there for some time at least. And how about lining up the rooks as well? But not behind it. Okay. Rook lift. I'm coming with the rook to d8 and then trying to exchange some stuff at the end. Maybe get the queen as well active. Oh gosh, where is he going? There is no way. Exchanging the rooks. Can get the pawn as well now. I have to be a bit fast on time. The clock's ticking. Uh, don't want to come him down, so I'll take with the knight. Okay, he still instead does. Is there some threat? Probably not. I'll take this. Trying to go here. Oh, he's trying to strong on me with that. I'd rather go here and defend. Knight here. And what's his follow up to defend this? Ah, queen. I'll go up. Just trying to distract the queen in the next move so that I can get to have a mate. He goes back instead. Okay. Uh, I'll go here. Go here. Def attacking. Okay. Come back. Take the spawn next. There goes the pawn, the shooting pawn, and there comes the mate. Uh, that was never going off the time limit. 
had the guns throughout the game. Yeah, let's analyze the game once. Took almost 10 minutes. So a full fidget game, I would say. Started off with B3, uh, C6, as, as always, C6, D5, my standard opening. He develops his bishop on B2 and then goes for D4. As I said, that was a bad move. Once you have developed your bishop and the king side of the opponent, why would you like to block your, the same diagonal? So that's a bad move. D4 is bad. Uh, bishop comes on F5. Knight comes to F3, trying to develop the knight. I played E6. Pawn to E3, then I develop the right knight on F6. He tries to exchange the bishops, which I deny, of course, as always. Uh, and then I develop my bishop on d6. He goes for c4. Uh, interestingly, uh, I took on the pawn. He does take back. And then I play queen b6, which computer doesn't like. In fact, computer didn't like uh, d take on c4 as well. Computer saying just develop your pieces quietly rather than going for the break. But I went for the break. Sometimes you can play aggressive chess. And then I'm attacking his bishop. He didn't save the bishop on the right square, but he just does save it, so it's all, it's all purpose. I tried to exchange the bishops. He tried to save and hang on to it. I just double up. I want to check what is this threat because computer is saying he's up by 2.1. But why is that case? Because after I take, what is he about to do? Pawns? Oh, these center pawns are the threats. Um, because even this pushes my knight somewhere where uh, it can't do much after a point and will be blocking my whole path and I'll just be playing with my knight and he can strong arm me from the center king hasn't castled so yeah that's why the advantage uh, but instead uh, he took on the bishop first I take back and then he tries to get the knight in between and just trying to develop the knight and get a rook to b1 as you're thinking uh, here I get the free pawn, which I take, and computer likes it. That was the best move. He then takes the bishop. Computer suggesting you can take on uh, the queen. No, uh, just play pawn forward, and let me choose what I want. Where does the queen go next? So, if this would have happened, I go back, and he gets the rook. Maybe this, and I can go back. I don't see much problems with that as well. So yeah, that's fine. That is not the computer line which we can proceed with. But here he tried to exchange the bishops. We did. I open up uh, the edge file. He tries to come in with the knight on e6, e5. Uh, I place queen on b4. And then I come back to e7, the right moves. It's a draw situation from here as per the computer. And the opponent should double up with the rooks ideally. But he goes with queen ahead on b3 that's bad and the best move in the situation yes right b6 so uh, finding best moves in such complex situations is very good because then you understand the flow of the game better you're in control of the game and you are analyzing it right so identifying yes this looks like a bad pawn structure as you see but that's the best move in the situation you can always go for b5 but then the threat was a4 as i said but when you play b6, you get to have another chance just trying to live to fight another day. He goes with queen to a4 and I just try to save my uh, pawn here. Uh, though computer searching, I can castle. But I wanted to safeguard my pawn first. And then I got my knight back and he played the right move as well. So he must have blundered somewhere because after I take... He tries to save, ah, what if he takes? So my problem was, my point was, after he takes, I get to take this. What's the real threat? And the real threat is not him taking the knight, but him going down and then taking on my rook. And if I try to go for exchange, uh, this is a dead game for me because the time I will take here to go there and try to unlock my other rook, that would be gone for sure. And... Meanwhile, the opponent has just to play rook on c1 uh, there and control the whole file.